Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing. In today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can split your commission check or your commission request with another agent in your office. Okay, so this tip will apply. Maybe you've been co-listing and a listing together with another agent in your office. So you're specifically on the same side of the transaction, whether it's a buyer or a listing, you are on the same side of that transaction. So that you're co-listing the property or maybe you are a team member agent and you work on transactions together. I'll show you how you can split the commission requests to go to more than one agent in your office. Alright, so I am in the offers and commissions tab of my opportunity. Okay, so for this one, if you are unsure, if you have not ever created or added your offer and commission request to an opportunity, okay, that would be done when you go under contract, when you have an executed offer. You would go ahead and submit the commission request to your office to let your office staff know how they're splitting up your commission uh, check. So are you splitting that 50-50 with another agent in your office? Are you paying an outside referral of 25%? Whatever the case may be, this commission request is indicating to your office how they should be splitting up that commission. Now, with that being said, if you are new to adding offers and commissions to your opportunity, I will include a link in the YouTube description below on how to add in your offer and commission check. So that'll give you a complete overview. For this tip video, I'm going to specifically cover splitting the transaction between two agents, again, that are in the same office on the same side of the transaction. All right, so I am in my commission request here. So in the offers and commissions tab of your opportunity, depending on if you've already accepted the offer or not, you may see the option to either accept or reject. Okay, once you click accept, you'll then have the option to manage the commission. So in theory, we are adding in the offer details into the system here, letting the offer, letting the system know this is the accepted offer and I will now click manage commission to go ahead and finish up this commission request. All right, so again, if that is all new to you, what I just spoke about real quick there, again, check out the link in the YouTube description below. I believe it's like a 10, 15 minute video that will walk you through step by step how to go ahead and do this. You will be doing this every time that you go under contract. <clears throat> okay, so you can edit anything at the top. So if you notice anything red, like it's not filled out, or you need to edit anything, you can do that by clicking Edit General Information. So as far as splitting the actual agent payment, so the commission check, you'll see any agents that are associated below here. So if you're in your account, you'll automatically see yourself added. All right, so you will see so th some things to note here, your agent unit, okay, that's important to pay attention to for this tip video, that will always equal out to one. You're selling one home, it's one transaction, it is one unit. You'll see your gross commission here, how much you're getting net, and so forth. You'll be able to see a breakdown here, how your gross commission, how much is being taken out of royalty, company dollar, any additional deductions that you have set up as well. Now, in order to split this with another agent in your office, so on the same side of the transaction, whether you're on a team or just co-listing it, you will want to click Edit Agent Payment first. And next to your name, click on Edit Agent Payment. And we need to change the agent unit number, right? I harped on that the agent unit number will always equal one. All right, so in order to split this transaction, so if you're splitting this 50-50, we'll want to go ahead and change the agent unit to 0.5 and click Calculate Commission. You'll see it updates that for you. All right, or if you're receiving 75% of this deal and the other agent will receive 25, you can update that accordingly. All right, so it just needs to equal one. So if it's 75-25 split or 50-50, go ahead and put in that de decimal here, so 0 0.5, 0 0.75, Click Calculate Commission. Of course, just note as you scroll down, you'll see a breakdown of your royalty and commission due, and you can update any deductions. You can also add items here as far as referrals, bonuses, deductions, concessions. Um, again, this is more heavily covered in that commissions video in the YouTube description below, so you can check that out. 
But for now, all we need to do to split this with another agent in our office is change the agent unit and click Save Changes. So change agent unit, click Calculate Commission, and then Save Changes. All right. So now we have that updated right from here. So we now need to add that remaining 0.25, right, of that agent unit to be able to submit this over. So what we're going to do here is click add another agent. So right next to the word payment, right above your name, you'll see add another agent. Okay, that's the one we're gonna wanna click here. And at the top, we'll be able to search the name of, your, of the agent you're splitting this with. Now this is only searching agents in your office. Okay, so if you are on a team, or again, co-listing, go ahead, oops, sorry, and search for the agent's name here, and select it from that drop-down. Okay, so the agent will have to be in your market center, so you can search the name. The agent unit number should automatically populate here for the, to get you to the remaining one, right, but 0.25. Calculated the commission, here that is. All right, I can overview all the remaining information here and click Save Changes. All right, so now I have that updated here. I have the agent unit. As I scroll down, I see the additional agent, see that 0.25 to get me to one unit, see their gross commission, and I can see an overview on the right-hand side as well, All right, which agents are receiving payment on this and how much goes to each agent. Then when you're ready, you're able to click submit to submit on the bottom here and that will go over to your compliance staff so that they can go ahead and process your commission request. All right, guys, if you have any questions on that, please do not hesitate to reach out. It's support at scottleroymarketing.com. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have on this. I hope this helps and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.